today mm. we need to get breakfast. I'm so hungry. And we need to go grocery shopping. I will not be participating. You have to participate in this particular sector. Why? One, because we need to get soda stream bottles. Oh. Two, I need you to film some B-roll of me at the grocery store for my video tomorrow. Oh. So, yeah. <laughs> I want to get new shoes. I need new shoes. Um, here's a here's a situation. New space. I <clears throat> I don't have a big value on getting clothes, and you know what I mean. And look, what would you say, babe? I like to look good, don't I? But I, you just have a it's casual not a, style. So I have a casual you're style. You don't have a casual style. Just have a boss watch and boss shoes. So the thing is, I was going to I was going to some sort of event the other day, and I realized that. I don't have good shoes, and I felt like my shoes made me feel like a peasant. They made me feel poor. And I do believe in making sure that you feel good about yourself, that you feel abundant. You know, with the, with the money with the money thing, I always carry like a day's pay around with me. It's important to feel good all the time, because when you feel good, you vibrate good, and then you attract better things into your life. I've never really spent much on clothes, I just don't care. But I'm getting to the point where I need to, because I really, I wear cheap clothes. I wear basic t-shirts that are like, 20 bucks, I wear shorts or some kind of plain chinos, but I need something to make it like accentuate what I'm wearing so that I actually feel good. I always have a nice watch on, but I need to get my shoe game up. These are the only expensive shoes that I've ever bought. Babe, have I ever bought any shoes, other expensive shoes besides my Louis? Okay. By the way, let me clarify. I'm not a big fan of buying brands just because just because of their brand and pay like 20 times as much just because you're buying into the brand. I believe in buying nice brands when the quality is bang on and the quality is awesome and when the thing is actually made well and when you put it on it makes you feel good. That's when I that's when I sort of buy into brands not just because of the sake that I can say that I have a you know what do you mean? I don't even know what we're doing tonight. What are we doing tonight? It's in the calendar. We've got family dinner. What? <laughs> I'm not going. Yes, you are because it's here. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? It's here. Who's coming over for dinner? I'm just going to reply to this guy on Snapchat. So, where are we going to breakfast? I don't know. What do you want to eat? If you're wondering why we're eating breakfast in the car, it's because this morning I let myself go too far. I got hangry. And when I'm hangry, I can't venture outdoors. I can't be around people. I can't be in queues. I can't be around screaming babies. I need to be indoors. So Robin got my food this morning, and then we ate it. We're eating it in the car. It's perfect. I feel great now. I didn't realize we did so much shopping. This yeah, we ridiculous. did. Ridiculous. Quite well, eh? Really? I got the new soda stream bottles because we buddy Robin put my thing in the dishwasher, didn't she? And it blew up. But look at these, babe. These are the big dogs. These are one liter. I wonder if it actually fits on my model soda stream. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, that fits. One liter of pop, babe. I'm gonna be hydration central. Look at this guy. We wanted a toasted sandwich maker for a little bit. This motherfucker was $7.50. The electrical cable that plugs into the wall would cost more than that. So Holy I Holy shit, it smells like cheese. Ooh, fuck. It does too. And it's dairy free. I don't believe it. Let's have a cheese toasty right now. We got bread? Baby, it's smoking. I don't know if that... Is it the, is it meant to be doing that? Yeah. Don't burn yourself, you scallywag. I gotta put some lubricant. Lube, what the fuck is, I don't know if it's going well so far, to be honest. I'm skeptical. It's not bad. Check it out, I've got some new shoes. I don't get, I don't buy clothes and shoes often, but look at these guys. These are like my, gonna be my everyday, Slip-ons. I need slip-ons because no one's got time to put up, put on laces when you got it when you're in a rush. But I like these, eh? They're pretty cool. They're pretty different. And I got another pair just in case. 
because variety is a spice of life. Look at these, I like these ones better. But this is probably the most exciting purchase of the day. Um, I've got, I'm, I'm trying out different qualities and different styles and materials of plain t-shirts because I'm coming up with my own range of embroidered shirts. Not so much to make, buddy, make a business or sell them or make money from doing that. It's just because I want my own branded shirts with my own quirks and traits. Rather than buying these crappy things that have no character, no personality, I want to wear the plane. I love the plane, but I want to have my name on it or my emblem or my logo. And then like a really inspiring quote, either like on the sleeve or on the back or something. I think that'd be sick. I'm gonna come up with maybe seven different iterations of them in all the different colors so that you can get them in like a pack. I will sell them, but not the making money from that's not gonna be like my primary purpose. I just want them for myself. Shake can well and spray shoes from a distance of 25 centimeters. I feel like this is not good for my lungs or my skin. <coughs> I did the other guys as well. I think they'd be good. I think this stuff should be alright. Like a thief in the night. I'm coming for your heart, I'm coming for your heart. This time it's anything goes. We've made it, babe. We have made it. Come look at this. So Erex one is Erec P-I-E-B-M-N. We officially have imposters. It's not just like the, the typical, like this someone has gone through and copied all of our accounts. You gotta check it out. So I would like to cast your attention to this particular Instagram account by David underscore Benioff. If you take a close look at the photos, they might look familiar. He is a good looking lad. Um, people stealing your photos and stuff and putting them and pretending that that's them, that's pretty normal, that's pretty common. This is next level shit. You gotta check this, what this guy's been doing. Here we go. Here's a photo of Robin and I in Bali on bikes. Check it out. So David has posted, ride was great, blah blah, that's my actual caption, the cat shit being copied thing was great. Then Daniela Louise 12, guess who got the head start? They're like bouncing off each other. And da Daniela Louise 12, look at that display picture. Look at this babe, this, that got posted 10 hours ago. So there's a, so there's legitimately a couple, maybe it's one person. But remember we, how the, like all my old photos. <laughs> Got more likes than me when I first posted it. Check this shit out. Here we go. This is a wreck and I uh, in Bali at Ayana. Great business interview today. This is 13 hours ago. Learned a lot from this lad, Erek. Look, he's even stolen Erek's name, Erek Pi BMN, who is a day trader, traveler. What the fuck? This is, these just completely ripped. I wonder if Molly's got one. <laughs> It hasn't gone as far as you yet, Molly. I'm sure in the next few days, Molly will have one as well because she's got a bloody good Instagram account as well. So it's a uh, trading strategy. He's selling, he's using our, <laughs> he's using our social presence to sell a trading strategy. Oh my golly gosh. Erek replies, had a great time with you too, boss. <laughs> what a scallywag. What a scallywag. Let's talk about this for just one sec. <laughs> Imitation is the finest form of flattery. I get that, and I don't like care about that from a social point of view. The thing is, when you when you're gonna try and combine that with business, you are really setting yourself up for failure. If the business takes off, then what? You're gonna like how are you gonna back that when people realize that you're not really running the business? It's not gonna work. So I kind of feel. When people do the copying thing from a social point, they just want to you know, feel a bit better about themselves, that's one thing. But if you're trying to run a business and plug people into your network or into your product or service, it's never gonna work. You, you know it's not gonna work as well, right? It just, I really feel like it's like a self-sabotage thing and you feel like you want to try and do something, but you know that if nothing's gonna ever work and you don't believe in yourself enough to back yourself, to put yourself out there and get your own lifestyle and build your own lifestyle. You can do it, anyone can do it. I wasn't this, I, my parents didn't have a fucking big penthouse. They didn't do the cars and the, and the thing. They, I wasn't born into that. You can do that. You can, if you want it, you can get it for yourself. You don't need to pretend that you're someone else that you're not, if that makes sense. Everyone has their own unique message to bring to the world. You need to, everyone should be sharing their own unique message, getting out their message of why they're on the planet because that's when you're gonna have the most inspired life. 
What are they doing? Just a selfish ghost, 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 ghost. Oh my golly gosh. I see taters. I see taters. What a beautiful day. What a perfect day. I've had such a good day today. I was productive. We went shopping. We hung out. It's been a bloody good day today, babe. I've been baked tater tots. Um, our guests are on their way over. I'm gonna put some music on. <sighs> Fuck me, over hot. What about electronic dance music? No. What's the, what's the feel tonight? What are we going for? On their site here it says brokers you can trust, I would have to question that personally.